hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is rachel if you're new welcome so much so today i'm recreating this rosina sharon's look this is the look that i'm going to recreate so stay tuned when i recreate all this look stay tuned and let's get down to the video <music> So guys, I'm going in with my normal Davis eye pencil on my brow and normally I ensure that I follow the shape of my brow. If you don't follow the shape of your brow, of course you will have a blocked brow. So you need to follow the exact shape of your eyebrows. And when I look at Rosina Sharon's video, this is what she does too. So I'm just trying to recreate her look and following her tutorial just to get to the look that I want to get today. And I'm doing her nude look. So I will ensure I fill in my eyebrows well, but when it comes to the edges or to the front part, I strike, I just put it on strokes. Yes, just like that. And I'll do the same thing on my other eye. Now I have already, I've already cleaned up my brow with my concealer. I used the concealer, Pro Concealer Final Love. That's the shade that I use. Yes, you have to ensure it's all blended well. Yes, you can see it is well defining my brow. So after I'm done with that, I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to to prime to prime my eyes I'm just setting a base for my eyeshadow if you want your eyeshadow to, to to remain in place and also to pop you need to prime you need to prime your eyes before applying your eyeshadow and that is what I'm doing right now and I'm using my concealer the same same concealer that I used to clean up my bro so I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend everything together Yes, and normally when you're putting on makeup, normally you should ensure that you start with the eyes. That's the best way to start. So I'm using this palette here. And guys, uh, ignore my nails. Ignore my nails in this video. Yes. So I'm using this shade over here. When I look at Rosina Sharon's video, she has like a brownish, orangish color on her crease. And that is what I want to recreate. Yes, I'm going to ensure I blend that well on my crease. And guys, sorry because the video is not that clear. Forgive the light. Yes, I ensure it's well blended. I'm going to do the same thing on my other eye. And normally when I'm putting on eyeshadow, I always prefer to, to bend down a little bit and to just close my eyes so that I can see how, how the brush is creasing or is blending my eyeshadow on my crease. Yes. Yeah, you should ensure it's well blended you can blend it as much as you want and if you don't want to blend it it's still okay you don't have to i'm just blending it to recreate what rosina sharon has done to her video so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to clean up my lid of course you need to clean up your lid yes because Actually, the lid is the most important part of the eye. It is the one that determines how your eyeshadow will look like. So if you, dis if you clean up your lid properly and cut crease well, then your, your eyeshadow is going to, to, lo to last for long and it's also going to pop. Yes, so I'm using this sharp brush to cut crease and also to clean up my lid i don't have a very big lid yeah but i just work with it there you go 
I'm using my concealer to clean up the same same concealer I used on my brows the same same concealer I used to prime my whole eyes this is the same same concealer I'm using to clean up my lid yes ensure it's well cleaned for perfect results so there you have it you can see it so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm using the purple shade that's the shade that rosina sharon has used i'm using it on my lid and i'm using this purple color it's so bright yes there you have it want to tap from each corner to the other corner and guys when you're putting on eyeshadow you do not rub you just tap it like that that's the way you put on eyeshadow so i'm going to do the same 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 thing on my other eye oh this light this light is spoiling everything for us but forgive it yes ensure it's well well blended so i'm done with that so guys i'm 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 going in on my lid with two shades that's the shade dark purple and i'm also going in with the brightest purple that i have in my palette so this one is bright and i think i don't know if rosina Shara re really did this but i'm just trying to recreate her look in my own way and you can see the purples are actually they are they they, they are connecting they are connecting much uh-huh You just tap it in so I'm going to pick up my brush and I'm going to blend up everything I'm going to blend it up yeah yeah blend it blend it to my desired result there you have it think it's well blended So I'm going to pick up my eyeliner. This is the MAC eyeliner. And I'm going to draw the exact thing I saw in Rosina Sharon's, in Rosina Sharon's picture. Let's ensure I draw my eyeliner properly. This until the end of my eye. There you have it and I'm done with that and I've already put on my brows so the next thing I want to do is to put on foundation don't forget guys we started with the eyes now we are go we are moving to the face and I use the kiss beauty foundation with a damn beauty blender and so I'm going to just blend the foundation I've already put on my eyelashes yeah sure i blend it well ensure it's well blended and guys another hack when you're putting on foundation you're supposed to put foundation in small quantities you just need to build up when you put on too much foundation at the same time your look is not going to be that good so it is advisable that you use a very very small amount if you want to recreate you can just blend then add on more foundation and then blend again just avoid putting too much foundation at the same time and you will get the desired results so here yeah, you guys can see that that foundation actually this foundation is my favorite it gives me full full coverage yeah full full coverage and the next thing i um, want to do is that now i'm going to take my concealer 
and I'm going to go on my under eye to clean up my dark eyes with my concealer. I'm using the Pro Concealer, the shade Final Love. Yes, on my nose too, because of purposes of contouring and also on my chin. And I'm going to pick up another bit blender, which is dump and blend up. And after blending it up, I'm going to bake. And I bake, most of the times I bake under my eyes. And um, I would not advise people with dry skin to bake because it will, it will, it will make your skin actually look cracky. So if you have a, a dry skin, avoid baking as much as possible. But as for me, because I have a very, very oily skin, uh, baking is not an issue so that's what I'm doing now and I'm using the I'm using this brush to blend everything together and I use the black opal powder yeah, that's the powder that I use to bake yeah sure it's well blended well 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 guys you can see there's a very very big difference yes very very big big difference so now i want to contour and i'm using an eyeshadow to contour i'm using that it's the um, i'm using that palette i have that dark brown shade that i use to contour and i want first to contour my nose because this is what well defines contouring yes i'm going to do the same thing on my other cheek cheek i'm going to ensure i contour my nose properly there you have it mm -hmm. There you have it i'm sure you guys now can see the difference in my nose yes so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to highlight and this is the highlighter that i used um it's the kiss beauty highlighter there you have it so the first place i'm going to highlight is on my nose going upwards on that nose bridge because highlighting that nose bridge especially the place that you have contoured really makes your face look well defined I'm also going to highlight my cheekbones and I'm just using light strokes on that Yeah, you need to smile so that you can see where your cheekbones are. So there you go. So I'm going I'm also going to use a little bit of highlight on my eyeshadow palette. I believe that is what the same same thing Rosina Sharon did. Yes, to make it look a bit brighter. Yeah, so the next thing I'm going to do, or rather the final thing, is that I'm going to put on my lipstick. And I'm using my lip balm and my lipstick at the same time. Because this is what I see in Rosina Sharon's videos all the time. She loves first drawing her lips, then putting on another shade in the middle there. And that's what I want to recreate today. So I have to, to do it like her. There you have it. So I'm going to take the blue shade. This is a blue lipstick. And I just want it to look a bit nude. It will look nude when it is together with that lip balm. There you have it. This is what Rosina Sharon does most of the time in her videos. There you have it guys i think i have really recreated her look 
her lips, her eyes. She loves uh, long eyebrows. And that is what I have just created right right now. So I'm going now to highlight on the tip of my lip. On the tip of my lip. Yeah. That's the way it looks, guys. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. There you have your Rosina Sharon's look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like and give me a comment. See you guys. Bye.